I'm Dr. Mike Pownall of McKee Pownall Equine Services. Today we're hosting one of our monthly farrier vet days where we invite local farriers and we work up a case together, a client's case that has a particularly interesting foot problem. So today we have a case that of a horse that keeps on throwing its shoes. Right now it's a very thin sole and so we're hoping to apply a pair of glue shoes with uh, Dr. Katie Hambrook. So let's go inside and see what they're doing. Here's our group of farriers, about 20 or so, getting ready for the demonstration. You can see the shoes have a fiberglass cuff embedded into the aluminum shoe. The aluminum shoe is easy to uh, shape, so that's never an issue. Dr. Hambrook is dressing the hoof or removing all the loose hoof and dirt. The cleaner the hoof will be, the more intact the uh, glue bond will be. So Dr. Hambrook is uh, just had the shoe shaped, she's getting her glue, the farriers are talking about the case, uh, many of them have never seen this before. Here Dr. Hambrook is putting the glue into the mesh, really trying to saturate it, work it in, you can never have too much glue. Um, we have the horse's leg wrapped in vet wrap and Dr. Hambrook's going to take over and explain why as she applies the shoe. We have a lot of glue on my gloves and as soon as I do this it's all over in his hair. So just to protect that. You smooth it on. And this right here, I think, is this and cleaning the foot properly are the two hardest parts. You want to go high on the heels and right down on the toe, low on the toe, high on the heels and low on the toe and go around a couple times and then you go around once just on the cuff and then you start to go harder. And you'll notice if I put too many wraps or too much pressure on one branch, it's gonna start to shift the shoe, start to go on the opposite branch. And you always wanna go high in the heels and low on the toes. If you don't, he's gonna put his weight on and it's just gonna slip right off. So it's been about 10 minutes of the hoof setting of the glue settling in, We're removing the cellophane, or the saran wrap, everything is dry, the foot is set, removing the uh, vet wrap on the leg, and getting rid of the white tape, the quarry band. What we have now is a finished product. You can see we've done both shoes, the one on the left has had a dye to the glue, so we have a matching the black foot, and on the right is the more natural type of glue. So here's our group of farriers, had another successful farrier day, looking forward to seeing them next time.